Hey guys, it's Dr. Salcedo, your conscious gynecologist. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about endometrial ablation and how I feel like it's a really good treatment option, but it's not the solution. And just thinking about a lot of the questions that women have, one of my girlfriends just uh, sent me a text message recently about how she's thinking about having an endometrial ablation and she has heavy, regular, long periods, eight to, den to 10 days. And she's considering that as a viable option to treat. You know, endometrial ablation is a procedure where they use a radio frequency uh, uh, rays and um, that basically ablates or burns the lining of the uterus in a very specific category of woman. A woman who has heavy periods with an overall normal cavity of the lining of the uterus and who also doesn't have risk factors for getting uterine cancer later which is obesity or irregular periods as the main one. We also try not to do it in women who have a tubal ligation because of a experience called and a diagnosis called post-tubal ablation syndrome. What happens in the ablation is that the lining of the uterus becomes scarred and there is way less active lining there, but there are some areas of scarring that develop into pockets. And if the lining of the uterus is scarred, the bleeding really doesn't have a way to come out. And so relies on the backflow of the retrograde menstruation in order to allow for the blood to leak out. But in women who've had tubal ligations, there's no place for it to go. And so as such, then people have experienced chronic pelvic pain because of the bleeding that is stuck in pockets. And it causes really cyclical pelvic pain. The only treatment is hysterectomy. Um, but, you know, although that it is a viable option to help women with their heavy, painful periods, it is a really just a solution that isn't the answer and doesn't really teach women how they got there. Now, heavy periods with a normal structure uterus really is an indicator of abnormal bleeding at the endometrium, at the lining of the uterus. The blood vessels are so inflamed that they don't function appropriately and they don't constrict and stop bleeding when it's time to stop bleeding at day four, day five of your menstrual cycle. It just keeps flooding. Those blood vessels, those smooth muscle arteries at the lining of the uterus are not um, equipped because they have been inflamed through endothelial inflammation and insulin resistance and they will just bleed and they do not constrict like they normally should. And so people have heavy, prolonged periods, seven, eight, nine days long. And so I could see how endometrial ablation is a viable option to treat and definitely for the certain woman it is, but many times it leads to the need to have a hysterectomy or confusing bleeding because the, because the lining is not normal, when women do bleed later in life, it's really hard to determine if they have a pattern. And a pattern of bleeding that is irregular can sometimes indicate as a warning sign for uterine cancer later. And a gynecologist will not be able to, to sample the lining of the uterus if it's scarred. So I do think that endometrial ablation is a really great option for certain women. However, um, and, you know, I just don't think that it really gives women the solution or the answer of why it is that they're bleeding so much. Now, definitely certain women, if they're getting closer to their menopause years and have regular heavy periods, and if their menstrual cycle is going to stop when they go through menopause within the next couple of years, that's a really great option for some women. But for women who are getting endometrial ablations early on in their reproductive life or in their mid-reproductive life, it might not be the best. And it might, there might be some better solutions um, that also focus on lifestyle changes, that reduction of sugar, reduction of processed food, anything to reduce the insulin level 
anything that will reduce toxins in your body that cause endothelial inflammation inflammation at the lining of the blood vessels would be really helpful. Stop smoking, reduce alcohol content, reduce stress, sleep better, um, but it might not be the best option. So that is my take on endometrial ablation. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, share your experience. Maybe I'm totally off with your experience. I would love to hear that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next video.